Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 6. All right, let's uh, leave Nicodemus' place. And we're going to head to Cove, so that's going to be... I'm going to head back to Cove. Yeah, I know. So we'll go to Britain. That doesn't look like the game wants me to go that way. Thanks. Stupid trees that I can't pass through. So while you can pretty much quick travel from place to place using the uh, um, uh, Moonstone, it's not always the best idea, simply because you can encounter a lot of things uh, um, wandering around and fight them. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, um, Moongate is gone. That's because I have the Moonstone in one of my bags here. There it is, right there. So, I think I could actually bury it, and it would work, but uh, there really isn't much need to, because you've got the Orb of the Moons. Works just fine without uh, um, the actual moon gates and moon stones being around. Yes, I know, you hear something to the northeast, and that's not quite the way that I wanted to go. What does this sign say? Beware the beast. I would fight it, except... Well, actually, oh, don't tell me you're not... Are you not up yet? No, you're just... Is there a secret room? have a secret room. Ha 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 ha. Trying to hide stuff from he from me. What? Okay, you have another secret room. Why do you have stocks here? There's nothing there. Let's just grab that. Since you're not here, might as well take it. And it's just an empty bag. I'm kind of disappointed now. Is there anyone who could use a bag? Sentry! Alright, now which one is Sentry? There, you, there we go. There you are. Shop is closed. Oh, come on. Now is your shop open? Yes, it is. Spells? Am I going to be able to afford any of these? Uh, Shmino. Let's go with four. Yes, I know that. But I want him to have great heal anyway. Yes, I'm interested. No, oh, I thought you had heal. Is that third? It's on a different page, isn't it? That is on a different page. Oh no, heal is first. Uh, let's go ahead and get uh, heal. Yes. And what the heck, let's get create food as well. Yeah. Anything else? Um, resurrect would be good, but I'll wait until I have more money. And they have quite a ways to go before they uh, 
are of a level for that. Spells? They may not even ever get that high, actually. One. Let's go with uh, heal. Four. And one. Get great heal. Yes, thank you. Alright, what, um, what reagents do you guys need? Well, first of all, let's move these into the spellbook. See, so, yeah, well, I need, whatever I... I need stuff for create food. Heal I've got, I can cast 50 times. Great heal I cannot. Um... Drake Root, Spider Silk, and Ginseng. So we need to buy Ginseng. Do you sell Ginseng? Should probably look. Yes, you do. I will take Ginseng. And Iola will also take some ginseng. There we go. I think we're done. Let's move these into the spell book. And I guess I can take the money back now. I can't cast clone, which is something that I would like to cast, but, uh, all right, let's have a little fun. Whee! Not sure if it's actually doing any damage to him, but... Should be. Ow. Come on. not sure. Oh, well. Sorry about killing your uh, little beastie there, uh, Rudium, but uh, it had to be done. It really had to be done. Alright. Well, um, actually, it might be a good idea to uh, go clear the uh, Jellum uh, shrine. Let's see what's the... Uh... Okay. That way we can actually level up some of the people that we have. Who are ready to level up. Alright, get to my jello map. Is 
exactly where I start from. Okay. So we've got to go find the mantra and the rune, so let's go ahead and start doing that. You look like a likely person. You see a man with a serpent and heart tabard covering his chainmail. I welcome thee to Jellum. I am Zelavan, and I am Lord here. Pray tell me thy name. My name is Almandretta. Ah, the Avatar! Lord British has spoken fondly of thee, milady. Please feel at home in this town. What do you know of British? I grew up near Castle Britannia. Twas the sunset over Brit Brittany Bay, and the ships at rest in the harbor which drew me away to the sea. You don't say. What was your name again? Thou mayest call me Zelavan. What's your job around here? The Valorous are often boisterous. I watch over the fighters. Here in Jellum we delight in the clash of arms and the din of battle. What can you tell me of the clash of arms? Speak to no man if, you, if thou hast need of arms. What about battle? Ah, battle! He sighs. For time he reminisces with you, trading stories about past exploits. What do you know about the rune? I held a tournament to decide who would be entrusted with the rune's care. You might say that no man was the victor. He smiles. What do you mean, no man? Ask him yourself. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you did say something about no man. Someone with a similar name. So what about the mantra? Do you know that? Hear it for thyself at the Sword and Keg pub, my lady. The songs and tales do the heart good, I say. Tales? Those who live the warrior's life like to sing and to regale one another with fanciful accounts of their, of their exploits. What about the pub? If thou hast tales of swordsmanship, then the Sword and Keg pub is the place for thee. Is on the north side of town. All right. Seems silly to uh, not directly tell me, but ooh. Let's put that back in there for now. We may come back for that at some point. Oh ho ho! Well. Looks like we have something to cast. Unlock magic. And a key. Well. Well then. We definitely want to cast something. Or, we definitely wanted to cast something. Let's go ahead and drop that. Can I drop it there? Yes, I can. I will go get that uh, wand right now. Why not? Might as well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't mind me here, by the way. Go ahead and use that door. Look in that again. Woohoo! What key did we get? Uh, the D key. Go ahead and take that uh, wand out of the bag. Hey guys! How's it going? Day. Let's go ahead and use this on it. <laughs> oh, hello, my lovely. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, look, that door just suddenly closed. I don't know how that happened. Oh, the, the, the armor just wandered into my bag. I don't even know why I did that. Oh well. 
So I lost two karma points. Hey guys, come on. Let's go ahead and unequip those. I'll take that equipped. And that is not the right bag. That is the right bag. You know what, what the heck, I'll move that. And that in there. Can I move that in there? Yes, I can. That works. A little bit more organized now. You see a blonde man with broad shoulders and a stern, unsmiling face. Hello again, my lady. Yeah, I was here earlier selling some stuff. What's your name? Naughty Noman, they call me. Naughty? Why do they call you Naughty? This is just a nickname, of course. You see a hint of a smile on his face. What's your job? I run the armory, buying and selling weapons. Oh, really? Can I sell? Sorry, none of you has anything I need. Aw, what about buying? What about armaments? What do you have for that? Bow, cross, club, crossbow, dagger, oil flask, spear, spiked shield. Sorry, I don't need any of those. Um, I'll take some more ammunition, though. Take arrows, only by the dozen. Take four dozen. Can I carry any if I ask for a few f less? Three? No, oh, I guess I am kind of overloaded. Alright, sentry, take those. There we go. Uh, what can you tell me of the mantra? Go ask around in the tavern. What about the rune? I won a rune in a tournament once. Tis gone now, though, and there's a fine tale about it. Well, then tell me this tale, because I kind of need that rune. I remember it as if it were yesterday. Well, because it was yesterday. Sullivan held a tourney, and I was awarded the rune of valor. Afterwards, we were at the pub celebrating. I had drunk a full quart of ale, so my grip was a bit unsteady. I was showing the rune around when it fell from my grasp onto the floor. That's when the rat ran out. Rat? You lost it to a rat? It scampered over, seized the trinket, and ran back across the floor. We all leapt it, leapt at it, but the little beast was too quick. It was in the hole before anybody could, anybody could stop it. It was in the hole? It ran right into a hole in the west wall of the pub, carrying the rune. We tried everything, banging on the wall, digging, poking with a sword... To no avail, though. We haven't seen the rune since. Well, crap. I guess there's a reason why we have Sherry after all, isn't there? <laughs> and not just because she is totally awesome. What do we have here? You see a jolly red-faced innkeeper. Well, hello there, mine friends. Welcome to the Voyerstead. What can I be doing for thee this afternoon? What's your name? Why do you have such a weird accent? My name is Martin, but my friends call me Dutch. Dutch? Ja, that's my name. What's your job around here? I run the scene. In? Room and board is five gold per person per night. Interested? Not really. Well, perhaps some other time, yeah. Do you know the mantra? So at least now I know what the, uh... No, okay. Does it look like there's anything in there to steal? Nothing in there to steal. Well, this is quite the big room. Anything there? No. Well... Fooey on you. Um... Go to this building over here. We did not. Let's go in there. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> Unlocked. Yeah, looks like I might be doing a little bit more thievery. Oh, yes, I will be doing more thievery. First of all, it's, uh, 
Move these arrows over to Shimino. Anything there? No. Oh, powder kegs. Um, those are actually not all that useful to me right now. Well, in that case, I don't really want to get this potion either. Just be one. All right. Who the heck has powder kegs in that room, though? That's a mite suspicious. have here? Inkwell, Jar of Honey, and Jar of Honey. Alright, so nothing really good there. Anything there? Nope. And nothing in the clock. I'm not sure if there's ever anything in the clock, but... Oh! You see a beggar clad in the rags of a sailor, with a hook for a right hand. Spare a doubloon for an old sea hand! He holds out his hand. Do you give him any money? Sure, why not? How much do you give him? Well, let's give him ten. Let's give him a hundred. Thank you kindly, Mitty. What's your name? I be Heftimus McPry, Mitty. Uh, what's your job? Once Buccaneer's Den quaked at me the mention of me name. I was the greatest saber fighter on all the high seas. Then one day, I fought Captain Hawkins of Electronic Arts Entertainment. That scurvy dog, and he struck off me hand with his sword. What can you tell me about the hand, your hand? It was a bitter fight. I almost died of the wound. Hawkins threw me hand to the shocks. Yes, uh, Hawkins is a reference to Electronic Arts. Um, it was a, the, the president at the time, was la his last name was Hawkins. Let's ask you about Hawkins. What do you know of Hawkins? I, I haven't heard too much of him before. He'd be long gone now. He and his ship, the Empire, a pox on his memory. Uh, what can you tell me about Buccaneer's Den? I haven't been there yet. That be an island, matey, and no place for a decent soul like yourself. You don't say. Um, what else can I ask him? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, do you know anything about the mantra? Sorry, I don't really know that. Alright, good journey. I'm sure you'll bug me for money again sometime. Let's see what the sign says. Please leave your weapons on the table. Ha ha ha! Good joke! Good joke. Let's talk to this mu musician. You see a man dressed in velvets and silks of ye yellow, green, and blue. His voice is rich and mellow. How do you do? I am the Bard Van Kellyan. Please speak your name, my lady. Almondretta. A pleasure to be sure, Almondretta. What is your job around here? Not Job. Why, singing is my trade. Songs to soothe the soul and refresh the mind. Shall I sing for ye? Iolo rolls his eyes and whispers to you. He believes he do does us a favor. This I must hear. Well, how about a song? Sure. The bard plays a harp and sings. I'm not going to sing this. Oh, what the hell. Though she disdains to speak to me, oh, how I pine and sigh for her. I would that I were handsome. Oh, sing ho, yo, he, hum. That was terrible. That was really terrible. Do you know the mantra? Did you know that the mantra of, the, of pride is mull? A beggar told me that. Yes, actually, I did know that. There's little enough dignity in the life of a beggar. Give him a few coins, of course. Alright, so you don't know the mantra. What about the rune? Can you tell me more about the rune? Mm, no, I cannot help with that. Alright, fine. Well, uh, this guy. You see an angry-looking man wearing short swords on either hip. Good afternoon! Good afternoon, Stelnar. Shimino and Stelnar shake hands. Elmandretta, this is Stelnar Starhelm. I can see where he got his name. Pleased to meet you, Milady Elmandretta. What do you know of Shimino? Shimino and I traveled the Spiritwood together for a time. What is your name again? I'm called Starhelm. You know, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even going to comment on it. I am a monster slayer. Monster slayer? 
I hate all monsters. They are a blight on the face of Britannia. For the past year, I've been killing wisps and the like in Spiritwood. What do you know of the wisps? They seem to have awfully kind to me. Wisps are nasty flickers, very hard to kill. Not like gargoyles now. What do you know of the gargoyles? There's one that they call Sinvral. If I had my way, that gargoyle would be a statue. Hey, come on, he helped us out. He's a good guy. They turn to stone when you slay him. That's drivel, friend Starhelm, says Van Killian. A gargoyle's a flesh and blood beast. Stone indeed. Bards, a gargoyle is an ugly monster, and that's that. Ugly, you say? Van murmurs, ugliness is but skin deep, just as beauty is. The gargoyle's skin is very thick and deep, as everyone knows. And what, can you, what do you know of Sinvral? He's a vicious daemon. Daemon, you say? Yes, yeah, Sinvral is an evil wretch. How could Lord British imagine that a gargoyle could understand virtue? Lord British defeated Sinvral in the underworld. The gargoyle went to live in the dry land. Isn't that uh, out to the west somewhere? Does it... Des oh, east. Whatever. Tis a desert east of the bloody plains. There's a shrine there. You know anything about the desert? I've never been to that shrine. Or the shrine... Or that desert. Or the shrine of honesty. Yeah, apparently so. Okay. Can you join us? No. You know anything about the rune? You know anything about the mantra? Alright, fine. Screw you, then. Oops. Aw, oh, I can't use the spittoon. I'll talk to him in a moment. Let's talk to this guy first. You see a slender man with boots that come up to his thighs. Care to join me in a drink? Uh, no thanks. Not a meat drinker, I guess. He shrugs. What's your name? Jarrus is my name, and yourself? Elmandrevic. Uh, helps if I spell my name right. Pleased to make your acquaintance. What's your job around here? Someday I hope to join Zelavan's stalwarts and be a guard. When that last earthquake struck, I was pinned neath a great tree branch. Lord Zelavan himself hoisted it up while a guard pulled me clear. Do you know anything about the mantra? It's in the refrain of a song. Do you know the song? Well, I'd rather not sing it alone. Get Colum to play it. Eh, maybe shortly. You see a girl of perhaps twelve years. She's agile and balances trays of mugs deftly on each hand. Hello, milady. Welcome to the sword and keg. Keg? Sometimes it is rough here, but I doesn't mind. Someday I'll be a fighter, you know. Fighter, you say? The fighting here usually begins over... Her voice whispers... Her voice drops to a whisper. The rat. Around sunset, things really get rowdy. A rat, you say? Shh. She glances about to see if any... If you have been overheard. See yon hole in the north wall? Well, not right now, but I did notice it when I came in. Look carefully at where the floor and wall meet. That's where it took the rune. They tried all manner of tricks to get it out, but they all failed. I had an idea, but nobody would nobody listened to me. What was your idea? Do you know of the talking mouse, Lord British's friend? Why, yes I do. A mouse could get the rune I'm of that I'm sure. Nah. What's your name anyway? It's Lysandra, but you can call me Andy. Andy? I know it's a boy's name. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of women out there named Andy that would take offense at that. But I like it all the same. What's your job here? I take orders for drinks, my lady. All right. Yes, and there's nothing in there. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. See a small man in a handsome vest made of seashells. Why, hello there, my lady. And who might you be? I am the Avatar. Oh, that be a name in need of a story. It, what, you, do you not know the story of the Avatar? What's your name, anyway? Cullum's my name, lady. What's your job here? When spirits below, I play tunes to bring cheer. You don't look like a bard. Once I heard a haunting melody. An old Magincia. He laughs. Magincia, you say? 
Well, it used to be a ghost town. He laughs and plays a little tune on his lute. That's just horrible. Um, do you know the mantra? The mantra of valor bringeth great cheer. I'm not a great singer, but I love to play a song of valor. Makes me sing. Oh, God. Sing. I'll sing, though I'd rather play. Play? The pub is filled with the sound of singing. It seemed like such an easy climb. I crawled upon the serpent's spine. I hadn't even time to blanch. When down there came an avalanche. And then my mantra came to mind. Though boulders bounced and passed with speed. My frozen fingers gripped to rock. As sliding snow swept loose my feet. Sing raw, my friends, sing raw. Tis a song to make thee strong. When the mountains be high and the ground be far. Sing raw, my friends, sing raw. Oh, that's horrible. May we meet again soon, friend. No, no, never, ever, please. Please, no. Just no. And don't ever sing again. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. We'll pick it up in the next episode as we go ahead and get the, valor, the Rune of Valor and head down and uh, free the shrine. See you then.